everybody! I'm here with my best friend Lisa Borden. Hi. We're up at um, Red Rock Canyon. We just hiked up at the Turtle Peak. Turtle Head Peak. Turtle Head Peak, thank you. <laughs> and we had a beautiful picnic. Now we're ready to do some yoga. So, no music today. We're just gonna have the beautiful sounds of, of nature. Of nature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this class, you guys, it's gonna be all standing. Um, so if you're outdoors, maybe you're at the gym and you want to just do a flow in your shoes, don't get me wrong, you can do it barefoot or with a yoga mat, no problem, but we're here. <laughs> so we're going to start in Tadasana. So go ahead and bring the toes and the heels together. Shoulders back, just a couple deep breaths here. Yeah, you can make the exhales dramatic. Close your eyes. Let's set an intention. We want to always practice with a purpose. Can be small, can be big, whatever you want. Take one breath in together and big exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Good job, you guys. Inhale, arms sweep up overhead. And we're gonna grab onto the right wrist, reaching up and over. So just getting a nice stretch here. Try and relax the shoulders. If they want to creep up, don't let them creep. Yeah, creeping on the down. Sorry. Ignore my singing. Just keep stretching. And bring it back to center. Inhale. Grab onto the other wrist and up and over. Good. And coming back to center, let's interlace the fingers behind the back. You can stay facing me or Lisa and I are going to turn to the side. We're going to take a breath in, the chest expands. And exhale, bend the knees, forward fold. So try and keep the hands clasped. If you can't or if it doesn't feel okay, you can just release the arms down. That's perfectly fine. Otherwise, we stay right here. Relax the head. Just shake the head out. Let the weight of the arms just really stretch out those shoulders. And we're going to take a big bend in the knees, roll the spine all the way up, and even it out. So switch the grip, other side, other thumb on top. Inhale, expand the chest. And exhale, big bend in the knees, forward fold again. Yeah, release all that tension in the neck. Should feel really nice in the shoulders, the hamstrings. Really a lot going on here. If you want more, you can bend the left knee and then just slightly tilt the upper body so that it's twisting to the right. Woo, yeah. Should feel that. We're gonna come back to center. Take an inhale and exhale, bend into the right knee and then just twist the upper body to the left. Feel that, Lisa? <laughs> and come back to center. Keep the hands clasped if you can. Big bend in the knees. Roll it all the way up. Woo! All right. Shake it, shake it. Do a little dance if you need to. Inhale, arms sweep up. Right knee is going to lift. And exhale. We're going to step that right leg back, coming into your crescent lunge, making sure I'm not going to fall on this rock. <laughs> tricky in this terrain you guys <laughs> hold right here so crescent lunge you'll feel this all the way in the right so as if you have a mat and you don't have rocks beneath you you can feel free <laughs> you can feel free to release that knee all the way down it's gonna be a, a nice um deep, really deep stretch here so that's an option otherwise we stay right here Whoo! this feels pretty stingy after those miles we just hiked <laughs> All right, clasp the hands behind the head and just kind of create your little hand hammock here. Tilt the head up if you want. This is just an option. Ooh, inhale. And exhale, bring the hands down. We're gonna pivot so you're facing the camera or your computer or phone into Skandasana. Holy smokes. <laughs> Ooh, this feels good. Yeah, so Knees bent, the, the bent knee, you're gonna feel that stretch in the Achilles tendon. If this is too much and you're like, no way, 
It's okay, you can stay right here to modify, okay? Otherwise, huh. <laughs> nice after that hike. <laughs> oh yeah, you'll feel it all along the inside here too. So just take one more breath and exhale. We're gonna come into our goddess. So push up however you need to get there. You guys, it burns. <laughs> Hold right here. Nice strong core, strong legs here. Breathe. And on the exhale, lower the hands to the thighs. We're gonna support the goddess. Inhale. <laughs> and exhale, right shoulder comes forward. Oh yeah. So just slowly gaze behind that shoulder should feel good. And let's take a breath in, come back to center. And exhale, left shoulder forward. Ooh, you might feel a couple cracks. Oh, there's a hawk flying there, you guys. I don't know if you can see it in the back, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> Is that a hawk or That's a... That's definitely a hawk. Okay. <laughs> Inhale, come back to center. We're gonna come back into our goddess. Hold. And on the exhale, you're gonna push into the feet. Arms expand, parallel those feet, yeah. Inhale. And exhale with a flat back, forward fold. Wide-legged forward bend. We purposely were facing this way so our butts are not facing you. <laughs> and just relax that head down. You can shift the hips left and right, if that feels good. And now gently walk the fingers to the outside of the right ankle. So if this is too much, you can just kind of keep them out in a diagonal. Otherwise, grab onto the right outside of the right ankle. Tuck the chin. So left ear is just on the left bicep. And on your exhale, bend that left knee. Ooh, baby, you're going to feel it all along this left side here and the inner right thigh. Breathe right here. We want that Darth Vader breath, okay? So I want you to do heavy breathing. <laughs> and straighten that left leg, crawl the hands to the other side. So outside of the left ankle modification, you can just reach the fingertips out at a diagonal. We're gonna tuck the chin, right ear on the inside of right bicep, and exhale, bend that right knee. Ooh. Oh yeah. We're like a couple of stretchy sloths out here. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we'll do it hanging off a tree. <laughs> Last inhale. And exhale, come back to center. Bring the hands back to the center. Hands on hips and then flat back, come all the way up. Just coming into your last goddess. Last one, I promise. Hold right here. And then pushing all the way up, coming into Skandasana, other side. So bending the opposite knee. Stretching the other side here. Yeah. This one's really good for some reason. It really gets into the Achilles tendon. You feel it? Yeah. <laughs> Modification, of course, you can always stay right here if that's too much. Flat over here. So oh, yeah. Lisa's on pretty rocky terrain, so. Pretty much vertical. So good. <laughs> it's actually a cliff. You just can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to stay here one more breath. And exhale, we're gonna turn crescent lunge other side. So this time we're facing the opposite direction. Arms reach up, good job Lisa. If you guys saw what she's working with, you would <laughs> give her big props, okay? <laughs> we hold right here. Again, if you're on a mat inside, you don't got shoes on, whatever, you can bring the knee all the way down. I just don't wanna shed blood, so I'm gonna keep it on up. <laughs> Hold and breathe right here. It burns, I know. Last breath, inhale and exhale. Push out that back leg to come all the way up to standing. Whew. Beat it out if you need to. Oh, that sounded weird, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> all right, we're just gonna end with a couple of balancing postures. 
And then that's it for today. So bring the toes and the heels together. Tadasana. We're going to come into tree pose. Oh, bad idea with the shoes, but we're still going to do it. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> you can place the hands on hips. Here, let the noodles see you. There you go. I'm going to come up here. Okay, yeah. It's a little flat. There we go. I think we can still fit in the frame. All right. So shift the weight into your right foot. Now you have options here. Oh, is my foot cut off? Shoot. Wait, I think okay. I'm good. I think you guys can you're see good. my feet. I can't tell in the glare. Yeah, you so you can do a kickstand if you don't want to actually bring it up. If you want to bring it right below the knee. Or if you want to bring it all the way up. Ooh, we're going to have some dirty legs. <laughs> Ow! Ooh, that kind of hurts. Okay, we're just going to hold it right here. <laughs> oh, look at us. Just a bunch of trees. <laughs> hold right here, you guys. If your face is all serious, just smile, okay? Last breath. And exhale, switch, all right, other side. So ground down into the left foot. Again, kickstand, oops, let me just brush that off. Kickstand, <laughs> foot can come right below the knee. You never want it directly on the knee, you guys. That's gonna hurt your knee. Or you can bring it all the way up here. I'm just gonna let it hover because I got some hiking shoes on and Kind of like tearing you know my leg apart so <laughs> so we're here <laughs> smiley we're a bunch of smiley trees what is that bob ross happy little trees happy little trees, happy little trees. <laughs> last inhale and exhale release Whew. okay one more little bend we can face the side so they can see you're gonna place your hands right here fingers are pointing down palms on the back of your waist, or excuse me, back of your, uh, what's this, tailbone. And just kind of lift up, yeah, lift up before you come back. So just opening up. You don't have to let the head fall back. You can if you want to, but you can just come to whatever feels comfortable. And come all the way up. Good job, you guys. Last thing right here. We're gonna come back to the middle here. Ground into the right foot. Bend the left knee. And we're gonna do a standing figure four. So left foot just comes right above that right thigh. Okay, so right here, palms heart center. You can stay here. You can do a little tiny bend, start to bend. Just keep your dristy focus. So focus on something that's not moving in front of you. Core is still engaged and we're really lengthening the spine here. You can sit a little bit deeper as long as it feels okay on that knee. Maybe you bring the chest down, fingertips touch the ground. This is totally optional, so don't feel like you have to go here. And we all meet right here. Last breath, inhale. And exhale, come on up. Good. That felt good. <laughs> Other side. Ground down into the left foot. We're gonna lift the right knee. And then gently place right ankle just above the left knee on the thigh. Start to bend the standing leg. And you can stay right here. You'll feel that in the hip. Breathe into the hip. And then your option to bring the fingertips to the ground if it feels okay. Woo, keep breathing, you guys. We're gonna take one more breath. You can make your way up if you had the fingers down. And exhale, come to standing. Ending in Tadasana, right where we started. So powerful mountain pose here. We're gonna do three of my favorite breaths, horse breaths. So you just flutter the lips and let it go, okay? Yeah, you know what this is, okay. <laughs> Feel free to close the eyes, you guys. Inhale, exhale, flutter the lips. Two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, let it go, Woo! bring the palms heart center, thank you guys so much for being here today and being out here with us, it feels like you guys are all here, namaste, namaste. thank you everybody. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed because that was definitely 
a great experience yeah being outside here so hopefully you guys have fun once again my name is shauna my instagram is noble savage yoga and then my beautiful guest here lisa borden thank you so much for being here all right guys i'll see you next time thank you